Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 22nd of 2024 is titled The Dark Tower in Scorpius. So what do we see here? Well, here we see part of the constellation of Scorpius, the scorpion. And that's one of the constellations that happens to be located near the plane of the galaxy. And we tend to see a lot more nebulae around that area because we're looking at the disk of our galaxy. And that's where the gas and the dust are happen to be concentrated. So what we're seeing here in this tower is actually a dark nebula. The dark dusty areas are regions of star formation and in, and in fact regions where star formation is just beginning. So this is these are the darker denser areas and you can see some of those clumps there where you can't really see anything behind them. And that's because there is enough dust there to keep us from seeing through it. There's just enough material there that we really can't see through certain of those areas. We might see nearby stars in front of it, but we can't see the stars behind. So if you look at the rest of this nebula around this re around the region of this nebula, then you see a lot of stars. Well, there's just as many stars behind those dark dusty areas as there are elsewhere in the image. It's simply that we cannot see them because of the dust. Now the dust isn't the only thing there. There's also gas and we see hydrogen gas in the red. Hydrogen gas when excited will give off a specific color of light in the red and that's what we see as an emission nebula scattered around there. Now the other color we see is we see some blue nebulae. The blue are reflection nebulae. That's areas where there's dust around a hot bright star. And that dust scatters the light from around it and causes it to glow. So it's a different mechanism than we're seeing here. It's actually just scattering the starlight that we're seeing from these bluish regions around the stars. That's different than the absorption and re-emission of light that occurs in the emission nebula. So one is caused by gas. That's the emission nebula. The other is caused by dust. That's the reflection nebula. Now this is also sometimes called a cometary globule and that's because it does have a vague resemblance to a comet and you have the head of the comet toward the upper right side and the tail stretching back toward the lower left. Now this is actually shaped by a cluster of stars that you can't see that would be off toward the upper right and the intense energy of those hot young stars shapes this nebula and pushes away the material. It eats away at the less dense regions and those around there have now been cleared off and then leaves behind the material that's denser. That's a little harder to get eaten away. So that denser material remains and that's where stars are still continuing to form. So the question is, will the stars that are already formed eat away at the rest of this material before those new stars actually get a chance to form? So that was our picture of the day for August 22nd of 2024. It was titled The Dark Tower in Scorpius. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be a dark pulsar. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.